Hello, my name is Sana, and welcome back to another video about the inventory system. Uh, I know I said something that I finished my inventory system uh, or tutorial series, and that uh, is not true. Um, some people ask me for a stack system and split system, and something uh, or a hotbar or something like this on the bottom side of an uh, MMORPG. Um, Maybe I'm gonna do something like a hot bar, but this is sim pretty similar to an inventory system and it's pretty easy to be honest. Um, I know, um, uh, but I w what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you this splitting system. Uh, I didn't prepare something, so I can show you um, now the result because um, I'm gonna uh, do this on my. Yeah, on this uh, on my own now here, and show you this. Uh, they just uh, I guess pretty easy. And uh, what we exactly want to do is when we click with them with our middle mouse button, so with our scroll thing or whatever on this mouse, is, um, that this item is getting split on another um, item slot. And when we take this back to our um, existing item, which is the same item, then it's getting stacked, but only with consumables. Um, uh, another thing, when you got something which is pretty important for an inventory system like this splitting, which I forgot, then post this on the bottom and just make a commentary, uh, um, just a post or something like that, and say uh, this this would be important for an inventory system. Could you do this or whatever? Um, maybe I can do this. <laughs> maybe. So okay, the first thing what we have to do is. Um, we have to go in our on pointer dump function and create a new function, uh, not a new function. We have to create a new statement in this thing here, and we take this, uh, copy paste this statement, and make this to middle. And what we need now is um, we have to ask is our item which we want to split in this. Um, in this uh, example, we have to ask if this uh, if the item value is bigger than one. Uh, so if inventory dot items. Ah, let me restart this um, uh, this Visual Studio. This is pretty annoying. This bug. Uh, wait, what? This lots. I know I deleted this uh, craft system. Uh, don't worry. I only wanted to show this with the inventory uh, system. Because uh, this doesn't matter in a cross system or something. So if um, inventory dot dot items from slot number from slot number dot item value bigger than one, then we want to split, and we have to ask. Uh, we don't want to split when we are dragging, so that won't make make sense. So dragging item, um, and we only want split items which are consumables. Item type is equals consumable. And when this is true we want uh, we need a variable where we save our um, our split from our item. So when we got an item um, with a three as the item value, so we w we need to part uh, with one and with two. So that's a, uh, this is why I need an integer, not a double. We don't want to have uh, items with uh, item value of 1.5. 1 1 1 .5. So we want something with one and two, and uh, then we need um, inventory dot items from our item slot number the item value the half of it so when we got three we get one because 1 1.5 is getting in, in in an integer and this is then one and the other part is a tool so then we need to create a new item um, I call the split now new item uh, inventory dot yeah, yeah this is nothing then just copy pasting because uh, uh, we create a new item, but only with a different um, item value. Item name. Uh, then we need uh, item ID. Oh, no. item ID. The. Wait. Stop. Item description is, I guess, the next thing. Yeah. Then the item power. 
item speed speed and now we need our oops our temp which we which we save and now we need I guess the item type of it is the last one uh, I guess yeah uh, it, it should be uh, item type oops item type and now we got our sp the, uh, the split of this uh, original item and what we have to do is now um, yeah um, we have to take the original item and take um, the amount which we get, get here um, from the old item so um, otherwise we only copy paste or uh, copy an item item value is minus equals minus equals the uh, temp and we, then we want to add this um, item to an empty slot uh, wait. Um, ah, yeah, uh, which I have done before. I guess this is uh, this wasn't before. Uh, which uh, you have to add this public. Uh, otherwise, we cannot um, access to uh, 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 from another script. So just go into your inventory and this function add item at, uh, at empty slot. Uh, this has to be a uh, public void. Otherwise, you cannot. Uh, call this function in another script. So uh, when you have done this, uh, this should work already. Uh, just go here and just middle click this, you see this is working and now what we want to do is when we click on the same item, this is going. Uh, this has to be stacked, but only with consumables. I don't do that, only like that, uh, that these are the same items and just taking uh, something like that. So, um, okay. Now what we have to do is we have to go yeah to this part here and we have to ask um if uh the inventory um so if the direct item and the item which we click are the has the same name so they are equal and um items Slot number dot item name is equals to the inventory from the dragged item dot item name when they are equal then we can stack them but only when this uh, the inventory dot the dragged item um, is an, uh, has an item type of consumable otherwise we don't want to stack them so item type is equals to consumables and when this is true then we want to do um, when then we want to stack this and we do this with um, we need another variable where we save our value because uh, we have to delete the item uh, later inventory oops inventory dot items from slot number dot item value and then we have to create uh, yeah the item in our slot new item uh, new item and now this is more or less again copied no no not exactly inventory we want the dragged item Item name, item name, no, there. And now just copy paste this in the first things. But you do not have to write so much. Uh, then we need the item ID. Then we need the description, item description. Then the item power, item power, the item speed, Wait, item power. And um, now the item value, yeah, so we need the item value plus temp because we want to add this before to our new item then and the item type. And now we got our item and we have to close the direct item. Um, but I guess there should be uh, another problem which you will see I guess now. Okay let's check this. Uh, we split this item at this item and you see we uh, still get this item here and 
and we can cheat our items. Uh, so that's not what we want. And we want. Um, we have to go in our close tracked item function in our innovative script, and this is, I guess, pretty easy. We have to set the the dragged item as equal uh, as new item, so that is empty. So when we did this, this should be the bug fixing. But you see, there's still a one in it. Uh, we need to add something else to our slot script. Um, we need item amount enabled f is equals to false. We have to take this in this else part as well. So save this and this should be it, I guess. Part and now you see this is working now. And yeah, just let let wait. Let me double check double. Uh, yeah. Um, let's add three that you see that is working with a part of two and one. Uh, inventory script. Uh, what was it? I guess at item two. Yes, this should be it. That you see that is working with part one and two. So just start this. And why do we add two now? Ah, uh, this could be because of the... No, this couldn't be. <laughs> Actually, I do not know, but this is uh, at the moment on a... Uh, let's do this so, like that. And now when you split, you see that it's working. I actually do not know why this is getting far at the moment. If this is something like bug, which I've created on my own, I guess. Oops. Item database and just check it. But uh, this is... um. Yeah, uh, it's back. I don't know why this uh, this is at the moment, but uh, I guess I hope it's not uh, with um, with the UR in the tool script. I guess uh, something which I where I experience uh, experience a bit, uh, experimented a bit. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is a tutorial. I hope you like this. Uh, if you like this, uh, yeah, subscribe me. And if you got something which you wanna uh, which you want to have in your inventory uh, system which is more or less uh, necessary for the inventory script. Just post this on this uh, video and yeah, see you later maybe on another uh, tutorial. I hope you like it. Bye bye.